the NFC West preview, yes. And I'm wearing my Fitzy jersey only because it's a cool jersey, not for any other reason. We'll see. Uh, let's start with the Arizona Cardinals, as I think they're going to be bringing up the basement again in this, this division. Uh, Beanie Wells, is he going to be Beanie? Is he going to be Weenie? I don't know. Offensive line has to hold up. Cobb is just a train wreck. Uh, uh, Skelton, we liked him. Uh, last game wasn't so great through the first uh, couple possessions there for him. I, you know, I don't know where this team's going to go. The defense, I don't think, is there at all. Uh, again, what are you going to do? Maybe 6-10. and 10. I'm thinking even 5-11. and 11. Maybe 4-12. and 12. I don't see this team going anywhere. Uh, last place. Next up, Seattle. And I like Seattle. I like Marshawn Lynch. Is he going to be there the whole season? We don't know. Uh, the quarterback situation. We're not sure if Matt Flynn is going to be healthy. He got hit. He got uh, dinged up a little bit. Uh, they have some other guys down the ranks behind Tavares Jackson that are even uh, possibilities for a, a quarterback of the future here. The offense is going to move as far as Randy Moss. I, don't, I mean, uh, Terrell Owens. No. Uh, Terrell Owens really just, I he think he, they're putting him in there. He's shown he still has the speed. Does he have the hands? I'm sure he will in some games. Could be clutch for them. Seattle's going to move as the quarterback's position goes and Marshawn Lynch. The defense has to play spectacular. Uh, wide outs, they're a little bit limited. Who knows? This team, as I said, I like them, but I can't like them. Uh, coming up next, believe it or not, yes, I'm putting the Rams. Rams proved last year that they did have some sparks on the defense when the offense could stay on the field, which wasn't very often. I think this year, well, a healthy um, quarterback, you are going to see a change with this offense again. If you can get the ball to Danny Amendola and he stays healthy again, I think you're going to see that connection with Bradford and Amendola big this year for them. Steven Jackson, yes, he's a little long in the tooth, been in the league forever, but hey, the guy plods along and always has a phenomenal season. Maybe if the offense can move other than relying on him. I mean, they have some weapons here that can they, they can take advantage of. And if they do, I think the Rams could be solid this year. I'm going with them being 9-7. Mm, and seven. That's solid for them. Uh, now, leading this division and winning it again, I think it's San Fran's division to lose. San Fran showed last year that, well, until the finals <laughs> NFC Championship game against the Giants, and even in that game, they were in it till the end. It was muffed on a, on a return. We all know the story. Uh, but this team has the potential there. Now, Frank Gore, can he stay healthy the entire season? Probably not. Kendall Hunter, has he proven to be the guy? Probably not. We don't know. Brandon Jacobs is now there in this uh, on this team, on the roster, in the stable. Definitely a goal line option. Uh, but the other side of the coin is, is he healthy really to produce for an entire season? Uh, it's one to be seen. Alex Smith wasn't an apparition of last year where he played very solid at quarterback. Now with the addition of Randy Moss, how is he going to get along with Crabtree? Fred Davis, we know he's going to be spectacular and he's going to be the bailout again. Uh, but Alex Smith really needs to step it up and play the way he did last year, plus some, uh, to get this team going. The defense is going to be solid, as always. Uh, look for Harbaugh to have this team fired up again. 12-4 and four is not definitely out of the question. I see more 11-5, and five, maybe 10-6 and six this year, but it's enough to win this division. And that's all we have for you. When we come back, we'll be going through the NFC North and South. Until then, you take it is. <laughs>